Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is an exciting day. Thank you all for being here. My name is John Rasmussen. I'm the Associate Athletic Director at IUPUI, and it's an incredible honor to be here to set the agenda for you today as we celebrate a new partnership between the Indiana State Fair, this tremendous facility, and IUPUI Athletics. We have four brief speakers today. Following the speakers, we'll have an opportunity for some photos for fans in the crowd. Also, we'll have some opportunity for some one-on-one -on -one and group interviews for the media in attendance. To set the stage, first we'll hear from Indiana State Fairgrounds Commission Chair, Andre Lacey. Following Andre, we'll hear from IUPUI Chancellor, Charles Bance. At that time, the Executive Director of the Indiana State Fairgrounds, Cindy Hoy, will speak. And then our Director of Athletics for IUPUI, Mike Moore, will have some concluding comments. We'll proceed to that point. Once again, I would like to introduce Indiana State Fairgrounds Commission Chair, Andre Lacey, to the podium. Thank you. Isn't this place just great? <laughs> oh, really. Um, you know, we spend so much of our, of our, our lives and time <clears throat> uh, trying to figure out what fits. Uh, uh, you know, we look for the right spouse, we look for the right job, look for the right people, right people to work with. Well, I can stand here and proudly say that the Indiana State Fairgrounds and IUPUI have found the right fit with each other and together with this agreement. Two Hoosier institutions coming together. The Coliseum has a great basketball tradition. You saw the wonderful picture uh, as you walked in with the uh, Pacers. Uh, uh, actually, and it'll be commented on in a minute, you know, they won a multiple wonderful championships uh, in this building. Hall of Fame, famers like Oscar Robinson, Wilt Chamberlain, paid under this very roof with a kind of legendary spirit here and renovations to this iconic building. The Coliseum will serve as an excellent venue to host successful NCAA division program. And now IUPUI students and fans can watch the Jaguars at a wonderful location surrounded by uh, an, an iconic spirit of memories, always memories. Once completed, the building will seat nearly 7,000. Wouldn't it be great to see 7,000 screaming Jaguar fans fill this place yelling and screaming in support? In the coming years, we look forward to raising more championship banners, championship banners with IUPUI logo on them here. So I would like to actually thank everybody uh, that's here and, and throughout this state that has been helped to make this Coliseum happen and this new agreement. And I want to particularly thank, and, and many of them are seated here, my fellow Indiana State Fair commissioners who were extremely supportive in this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andre. What a great reminder of the legacy that has already begun here. Oscar Robertson, some of our basketball players over there, that's a, it's a great name to look up to, and I know they look forward to helping produce the excitement and the drama that will continue that. At this time, I'd like to invite IUPUI Chancellor Charles Bance. Thank you very much. I first want to thank all of you for coming here today. It's an amazing day. I want to especially thank a uh, trustee for Indiana University, Mary Ellen Bishop, who's with us here today, uh, and colleagues and friends who I worked with uh, over many years. And this is a dream, a dream that is truly, in one sense, back to the future, but it's also I would say, jumping forward like a jaguar. This is an opportunity for us, as you just heard, to come to a place in Indiana that counts as hallowed ground. I didn't have to be here more than an hour 
when I came in 2003 and realized that basketball is as close to a religious experience as one can have outside of a church in this state. And as you just heard the names like Oscar Robertson, this is one of those places. So for us to have the Jaguars returning to a place that they played back in the 70s is truly coming back to the future. But it's also coming to the community because one of the things about IUPY that we always want to remind people is it is the partnership of two great universities, Indiana University and Purdue University, and it is a partnership with Indianapolis and the state of Indiana. And this is a perfect example of a partnership with the State Fair and that opportunity to be on this facility and on this property, but also to be closer to our community and to be able to encourage community members to find seats, which they can't always find now where we play. It's, but it is a huge step forward for our program. Even though the campus is 44 years old as a campus, we've only been in Division I since the late 90s. And we've come an astonishing way, including an appearance in the NCAA tournament. And we have seen incredible talent go from our floor to the Pacers. George Hill is a shining example of the talent from Indianapolis who grew in his talent playing for us at the Jaguars and obviously now amazing talent playing for the Pacers. So we have that opportunity as we've grown and we see this as a place, like Andre, I'd love to see an NCAA pennant coming down in this facility. So let's jump forward to the future. I am so glad that we're able to do this and I'm so, so happy as I look out at the faces here today. Thank you very much for being here and go Jags. Thank you, Chancellor. It is a great example of a partnership. I always love coming here during the summer and I look forward to coming back here much more frequently once we get started here in 2014. At this time, we'd like to recognize the Executive Director of the Indiana State Fairgrounds, Cindy Hoy. Hello, everybody. First, my official apology for being in black and gold. I thought, the, I thought this was more of a gold like the, the IUPUI, but I guess it's more yellow, and I apologize for that. I will never make that mistake again. So to Chancellor Bantz and Mike Moore and the students at IUPUI and the alumni and friends, um, gosh, welcome home. Uh, we are so excited that you're here. And unfortunately, home's a little messy right now, just so you know. Um, and actually, you know, when you're home, you would get a key to the building, right? But as you can see, there are no doors at home yet. So eventually, we will give you a key to the Coliseum, your new home. Um, just really quickly, there are two people I want to um, make a quick little shout out for, and that's our uh, Chief, uh, Chief Operating Officer, uh, Dave Shaw. Dave has worked endlessly, tirelessly to put this together, and thank you, Dave, very much. Another gentleman that's behind the scenes, and hopefully he's still here and not really still behind the scenes, is Rich Trombley. Rich, are you here? Rich Trombley in the back corner. He's been the project manager of the Coliseum renovation. Rich, job well done. Excellent job. So Mike Moore calls me a um, couple days before the Indiana State Fair last year and says, Cindy, I got an idea for you. He said, after the fair's over, let's get together and let's talk about perhaps IUPUI playing basketball in the Coliseum. It, he sent the email, I gave him five seconds, and I called him on the phone and said, come over now. Um, and so, lo and behold, he did. He came back during the fair, and really, the deal was put together with a corn dog and a lemon shake-up. <laughs> the lesson learned, you know, right. Oh, two corn dogs and a le lemon shake-up. But it is a, a, a tremendous privilege to partner with IUPUI and the athletics program and the entire organization who's here today. Indiana State Fair Board, would you stand up for a minute so we can 
say, uh, you can say your thank you to IUPUI. I'm gonna couple that with the Indiana State Fair Commission. Would you like to stand up and be recognized and also thank IUPUI on behalf of the commission? And Coach Howard, I just wanna let you know that, um, that we have a sixth man or sixth woman. The only caveat is they have to wear number 14. So the staff here, would you all turn around and show them what number you want? Again, we are all very, very excited about this. So the goal for the renovation was the Coliseum was to make this facility an every man or every person's facility. I mean, just think about it. If you're sitting up there on the second tier, and do you know originally the Coliseum was supposed to have a second level, a second balcony, was never installed, and so we're bringing back the history of the Coliseum. But what a great seat right up here in the corner. I think when you walk through this bowl, there isn't one bad seat in the house, and we will be really excited to see it filled completely. And again, I think that, that this is monumental in the fact that the first tenant, the first major tenant of the renovated Coliseum will be somebody from the community, and that speaks to who we are as an institution at the Indiana State Fair Commission. You know, Andre talked about the history of the Coliseum. I just have two real quick ones. The first basketball game, um, well, first of all, the Coliseum was dedicated in 1939. So the first basketball game was in 1942, actually August 28th, and it was the Indiana High School, um, the Indiana High School Stars who played the Kentucky All-Stars, and guess who won? Hoosiers, that's right. Um, back in the 70s, IUPUI played at the Coliseum. And so really, when I say welcome home, I want to say welcome back home to the Indiana State Fairgrounds and the Coliseum. We're so glad you're here. Thank you. On behalf of the Athletics Department at IUPUI, I want to echo what Cindy just pointed out about the staff here and, and Rich and David. It's just been a few weeks that we've had the incredible pleasure as a department to work with you. So to everyone wearing the white shirts, to everyone on staff, I can't thank you enough for helping set up for today. And we look forward to, to being back here on a, on a long-term basis. So from me representing our coaches and staff, I want to thank you guys very much. At this time, I'd like to invite our concluding speaker, the IUPUI Director of Athletics, Mike Moore. Once again, um, thank you to everyone for coming out today, and, and thank you to everyone who had a hand in getting this, this done. Um, it really is a great day to be a Jaguar at IUPUI. And I, I speak from a little bit of um, personally, um, even though Cindy is correct, I, just off and offhand, I read the article about um, the Coliseum renovation, and I thought, you know what? I'll just send her an email. What, what, what can it? You know, hopefully it won't bounce back, but I'll send her an email. And it was exactly, hey, I know you're busy with the state fair. When everything settles down, let's get, can we get together to discuss a partnership? And she is not, she was not uh, lying. It was literally five seconds. I can get with you tomorrow. Let's, <laughs> let's go ahead. And, and the, the amazing thing about that was, was that I felt that we truly had an opportunity for a partnership. Because it wasn't us simply coming and saying, hey, can we use your building? Hey, can we you know, find a place to play? It was, we want you there, and we want to build a brand. We want to build the, the Coliseum brand, the State Fair brand, and we want to help you build IUPUI. So it, it truly happened in that, in that, uh, uh, in that vein. I want, to, I want to say thank you uh, personally to everyone at the State Fair who, who has worked on this. But I want to especially thank David Shaw. Um, I've been working with him almost daily on this agreement. I know a couple times he probably got tired of me uh, emailing him, texting him four or five times a day, any word, any word, any word, any word. And uh, at least he didn't block my, block my cell phone number. But David has, has, has certainly worked tirelessly on this as well as everyone else. And, and finally, what does this mean to IUPUI? This is huge for IUPUI athletics. This is bigger than basketball. 
This transcends our entire athletics department. Because what it does is it gives us the opportunity to expose our program to the entire Indianapolis community. It gives us a first class facility that people will want to come to and want to bring their, their colleagues and their friends and others to enjoy affordable Division I basketball. That's another one of our themes. We're gonna keep it affordable here so that people can, uh, can bring their families, can bring their friends and, uh, and enjoy the, the product. I could, I could go on forever. Um, to me, this has been an 18-year labor of love to get here. Um, it happened in five months, so I, I don't know what that means. But I could go on forever what this means to recruiting, what this means to our women's basketball program as well as our men's basketball program in terms of scheduling, in terms of being able, um, uh, as I said, to bring recruits on campus. And just once again, as you're bringing people and you're talking about our programs, we walk into this building and it says a lot about the Indianapolis community and it says a lot about IUPUI. So, as I said, I could go on forever, but what I'd like to do is close by once again thanking everyone. It truly is a great day to be a Jaguar. And, uh, you know, people sometimes just say, are you happy? Well, this is about as happy as I get. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty excited. And uh, what I'd like to do is close with having uh, Coach Howard uh, come up and make a presentation on behalf of the basketball program. Well, there's been a lot of great things said today, and, and uh, I'll be more than echo everything and the emotion and the opportunity and, and the greatness that's around the corner. But on behalf of IEPUI, um, Andre and Cindy, we'd like to um, present you guys with home uniforms commemorating 2014 and IEPUI making this a home. So we welcome uh, you guys aboard as well, and we're very excited. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, not to be outdone. <laughs> Again, because we can't do keys yet, right? Uh, when you come back home for the next year, now remember the Coliseum, just to let you know, is, is not going to be done until the Fair 14. You are welcome to come in, but you're going to have to wear a hard hat. So on behalf of Andre Lacey and myself, uh, a little gift from us for the next year while you're coming back home. <laughs> 